Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to this channel. So in this session we are going to discuss about stored accesses and stored accesses is one of the type of accesses. And from the last one decade uh, accesses is regularly in the top 10 list of OS top 10. Uh, so let's see uh, we have this lab and before this before starting this uh, I would like to some give some ticks over stored accesses so where we find we can find the stored accesses so mainly uh, the information where the information is going to be stored by the website uh, there we can inject uh, uh, any payload and uh, that will be a stored accesses so the main main thing is that you need to find out where your information is going to be uh, uh, you can say stored right and there you will have to inject the that payload for example we have uh, we have seen uh, many times in a, in a website let's say a uh, contact us and uh, there is some updates etc etc means the information is storing the website is storing that uh, database uh, so we are going to uh, see we are going to see the things on this uh, lab Okay, it's reloading okay, let me check intercept is off it's taking time okay clicking on profile okay so I'm logging in there okay I have logged in now see guys uh, it is asking for some something name credit card number email phone number and address these all things these all the information is going to be stored so we will try stored access there we will uh, inject payload here so firstly I will try on the uh, uh, address then on the name or you can also uh, try multiples right so you can you can uh, um, we can say uh, you can just save your time uh, by applying all the payloads uh, on the multiple fields so let's say uh, I'm just writing the simple simple script uh, this one is the script if you can't see I'm just writing here I'm trying this with this this script so a script alert one two three uh, script closed right and as we are there okay that's good that's good and address is uh, something let's say Pune MH okay now I'm just clicking on update this is going to be stored and if that is stored if that, that that website is not sanitized for this field it's going to be uh, okay let me let me also copy this from here and I'm not giving the address okay so I'm trying on the multiple fields I just click on update okay well, we we got that I uh, uh, got that that there is a uh, stored accesses but where in the name or address field so let's try let's try again so on the name field we have uh, you can say stored accesses but the thing is that let's say it is sanitized right because this is a very simple script and it can be sanitized for that I'm just going to uh, use Bob suit let's say this field is uh, super okay this is CS super 2 now I'm going to capture this request in the Bob suit clicking the intercept is on update right now with the help of that Bob suit I can inject multiple payloads in a single time okay so that username I get to know that yeah the, the username is a uh, inject table and it is having the stored accesses or accesses uh, but you can also try uh, anywhere but I am trying here on the this field so <clears throat> I am sending this to the intruder intercept is off intruder positions clear all the field and select the, fi uh, the field where you want to inject that payload so add here you can also if you want you can also apply here by clicking on the add and but after that that will be a battering ram for multiple payloads this is worth for the single payload 
right so now going to payload now here as as my earlier videos you have already seen the reflected one so if you haven't seen if you haven't uh, know the concept of xss then you can check my previous two videos uh, which we, which is going to be very helpful for you so was that and that will clear your uh, concept of xss so here i have already uh, xss file so i have uh, much more payloads i'm trying to okay so uh, now i'm going to start attack okay great so the status code 200 is showing that it is injected right it means it is okay it is successful but the length should be higher than 6202 so i'm just click here and click on descending order it's uh, still proceeding it's uh, completed till 92 93 okay so now it's completed 105 oh uh, it's just stopped okay so we are trying now what we are doing firstly uh, we will try this show response in browser copy go there click new tab paste okay no problem this, this one is not working we will try then another, another one so you have to keep patience this this one tried this one show response in browser copy so this one is also not working no problem we will we will try some something else let's say let's say SVG on load show response copy paste see we we now we we got the accesses through this one this payload uh, you can try multiple with with multiple maybe maybe some of the working some of them not will not work as per the uh, restriction of this website so this is also working right so we got the accesses in this way this is the way where uh, you can you can choose the multiple fields you can attack on multiple fields and you will get your accesses also if you want uh, you if you want uh, you can also try on something else this this one is command and this text so there you can also try let's say uh, i have a simple script i'm just trying with simple script alert one two three script right paste okay so here is also uh, uh, stored accesses. Now let me show you some proof of concept uh, POCs of uh, 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 the researchers who already reported and got the bounty for that. See here one, one of the researchers got 700 bounty for stored accesses. And here uh, this one is, yeah, this one he got 250. $250 for uh, stored accesses. So let me show you how they have done. So steps to reproduce the the researcher go on this page and he clicked on new network report on the name. See, we we also got the stored accesses on the name uh, input. On the name input, uh, he also entered the same thing. On the name and the payload was this one document dot domain and he got the pop-up so he reported and he got the you can you can read out this thing I can give the this link in the description as well so he got this pop-up hope you will understand this concept and soon we will having some live hunting uh, with the live hunting because the yet uh, uh, there are 10 videos here is yet to come for accesses and we will show you uh, with the more uh, as per the experience you need as per the experience I can say uh, you will have to keep patience you will have to keep trying this is the only way uh, you can be a master in the bug bounty so uh, thanks thanks for connecting bye bye have take care and please subscribe the channel if you uh, like this video thanks bye bye take care. Thank you.